I mean, I met the man yesterday. He did do the Zap Brannigan voice. That was pretty great. Did you, uh, did you want to kiss him? Yeah. I, I knew it. Anyway, welcome back to the channel. We are the Whiskey Watchers. I'm Dan. I'm Jake. That's Jake. That's Dan. And that's Jake. And that's Jordan. And that's the sound guy. Yeah. You can't see him, but he's here. Anyway. I'll take a picture. So, I mean... <laughs> Shake's head no. No. So we're going to see how well Jake knows his whiskey here no, on this one. Well, we're f***ed. <laughs> I, I, uh, I think fudged. Yeah, nailed fud, it. Fud record? Yeah. Anyway. We're fud bucked. We're going to see how well Jake knows his whiskey here as I poured him up a blind sample. I know exactly what this is. So this is kind of a, a Jake-centric episode. If I had a spotlight, I'd go right now. Buffalo Trace. <laughs> It's just, it's Eagle Rare, everybody. It's Eagle Rare. Actually, no, it's Jim Beam. It's Jim Beam White Label. Oh, I mean. Anyway, so I poured a good amount into these glasses. I even put little little the toppers blend, on them so you can't lids? smell it. Can't even smell it, can you? Can't smell it. No. <laughs> anyway, remove your lid. Let's let's get into it. Let's see how nose blind and taste blind I am versus how much I, I remember. I think you'll I think you'll get this one pretty quick. We'll see. <laughs> well, it's a cigar batch. Uh, nope. No. No. Not anywhere on the label does it say cigar batch. Is but that an Amberana finish? It is an Amberana finish. Okay. From I was our like, friends, there's no fucking way. It's not. From our friends at RD1 Spirits. They did one? They have an, they have a, in Indiana an Amberana finished bourbon whiskey coming in at a nice rich 55% ABV. Oh, oh, oh. All of the feels, all of the flavors. So. Our friends at RD1, they're down in Lexington, Kentucky. If you ever are down there, stop in to their gift shop, see them, find Barry Brenniger, talk his head off. He's such a cool dude. He is an awesome guy. The beard on that man. It's jealous. Is mad. I've shaved mine a few times, though. I, I'm pretty good at getting mine to a point and then going, eh. Anyway, so we're going to taste this, rate it, review it. And compare uh, it to Starlight compare because that's what I do. To well, yeah, I mean we could also Oak and Eden because I mean actually we have Oak and Eden down here, so we'll we'll compare it to that. Well, we don't have to. I mean that's just that's what I base my standard on anything Amberana finish anymore. Okay. Also, there might be some interesting things coming with an Amberana finish, um, considering. Yeah. So you don't know. Well, you know, but you don't know. So I don't even know yet. Already one bourbon whiskey finished in Amberana barrels. Or is Amberana, this a rye or is this a straight no? This bourbon? is a bourbon whiskey, Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey finished with Brazilian Amberana wood. Where did they... Oh, okay, so they didn't even finish it in a barrel. So I'm thinking they might not have gotten the barrel. They may have they gotten some staves. I was going to say, they did the stave let's, finishing. Let's do some research here while you're while you're nosing this. So Just don't have to talk cinnamon raisin bread the shit out of this. From the roots and ashes of our past comes the rebirth of Lexington's first federally registered distillery. Established in the year 1865. The year of our Lord, 1865. It's a distinction we honor and will protect <laughs> while ushering in a new era of soulful revival. A soulful? Dynamic. Oh God, it's so dark. Soulful caught me off. Dynamic line. curiosity and alluring adventure. In this Kentucky straight bourbon, the South American Amberana Wood finishing is the first stop in our search for more hashtag bluegrass glory well uh i hate to tell you this but if, th if this is anything like starlight or opium the first and last stop so just end with this one so i'll give you the price point on this let me know I want to so at starlight you're going to find cigar batch for 74.99 mm -hmm. if not just a little bit more is this 150 penelope rio is that um, Starlight? Is that a uh... Penelope Rio? Is a uh, is a bourbon whiskey, a four grain whiskey, finished in honey and amberana barrels. We want to find it, <sighs> Penelope Bourbon. If you're out there and want to send us a sample, you get your whiskey from our state. Yeah, we can't find it, so I'd love to try. give us a give us a shout. Anyway, um, and then Oak and Eden with the amberana spiral. The spire. Yeah, it was about what $80, 85 I think it was seventy nine ninety nine plus tax out the door. Sixty. Seven ninety nine before tax. If this tastes as good, we're gonna make some stops. All right. Well, we've nosed it. Well, Jake nosed it. 
I've noticed it. And you get more of the bourbon on this one. This is... It's not... It's not just a straight... Bourbon, pecan, cinnamon, raisin bread with a little bit of icing on top. Yeah. It's not as heavily, you know, cinnamon, raisin bread. I, 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 I call like it... it. I call it banana, like uh, oatmeal raisin cookies, but you know, it's the same. Iced oatmeal raisin mm. cookies. Yeah, but anyway. There's a buddy. lot of vanilla on this. Yes, sir, there is. Do I have to taste it? I can just smell it. I kind of don't want to get disappointed. Well, after that. There's the pepperiness of the bourbon, and then it just coats with that Brazilian Amberano. Mmm. I love this. Oh, Barry. Barry, 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 Barry. You done did it. You done did it. <laughs> I just smacked my hand on the table for, to cover a different sound of something hitting a table. That's so good. <laughs> it's not overly sweet. This is... We're going to have to do a blind on these because this is going to be yep. hard. Yep. It's, but I mean, I, we're going to be hard, but this is going to be hard. <laughs> so, the, the Starlight Cigar Batch is just very sweet. It is very sweet. This it, hurts my feelings how good it is. Yeah. But this one has those nice bourbon characteristics. There's pepperiness of, from, from that rye in the, in the whiskey. There you go. There is vanilla. There's caramel. There's barrel. You get actual barrel. Dark red fruits hidden from in this. There. But you also get those characteristics of the Brazilian Amberana, which is that nice caramely brown sugar, the cinnamon, cinnamon the almost nutmeg, almost nutmeggy. <laughs> All the baking spices with a little bit of extra sugar. This is spectacular. Oh, this is this. Yeah, like I said, we're going to have to do a blind. I almost said second. I don't know. I do not know. This is very good. This annoys me. It's so good. <laughs> Because now I'm like, I want to taste Cigar Batch right next to it. Yeah. From Starlight. We'll do it. And see how it goes in Oak and Eden and just, oh my God. Oh. So, and Amber then maybe on, another one later. Amber on a throwdown coming soon on the channel. God, there's going to be. I'm going to, if not, at my house. Anyway, talking about the channel now that we're kind of about halfway into this or maybe three quarters of the way, why don't you go down there below? Smack that subscribe button as hard as you can, as hard as Jake smacked that table after he took that first sip. I'm glad he said that because I was about to really go for it. Oh, I bet you were. And uh, hit that notification bell. Leave a comment on the video. Help us grow the channel here in 2023. We really appreciate all the support. And uh, final thoughts on this one, Mr. Jake. You're, you said you're irritated at how good it is. How irritated are you? On a scale of A through F, where are you at? <sighs> It's hard to say because my gold standard is Starlight Cigar Batch. Like, this is A material. It's A material for you? But there's going to have to be a blind showdown or something. There's going to have to be like an epic taste battle of whiskey or something. Yeah. So how about we do it this way? Instead of giving it a letter grade, if you're in one of the states that carries these products. I'm buying it. Um, today. He's buying it today after having a pour. But, Probably. you know. We'll have to see how well, it's, it, it's Amberana. And it's less than $80. It's, it's the cheapest. Let's put it that way. It is second cheapest. Okanin, I think, was the cheapest. It was like 70, 74, 99, or 74, something after tax for that. I think Okanin was about 80. Oh, was it? I, was, I couldn't remember if it was 60 or if it was 80. Yeah. But the Amberana is so hot right now. <clears throat> it that. is. Amberana is so hot right now. So, anyway, I do recommend picking this up. Um, after having a pour, I would recommend because this you pick this it does up. this to whiskey. That's why it's so hot right now. It yeah. turns regular whiskey into some of the best drink I've ever had. It's absolutely delicious. So glorious. Rd one doing it right out of Lexington. If you go down there in the distillery district, right by James E. Pepper, right by uh, the railroad tracks, the railroad tracks. Get Next down to a there shop. and a freaking throwing axe place. Yeah, dude. There's and a lot going a, and on. And a meadery. There. On top of a, uh, <clears throat> they have a, just a little spot on the side of the parking lot just to hang out. They have yeah. seats, a fire pit. Fire pit. And, uh, fire they, pits. And they also Sorry, have plural. Uh, Goodfellas Pizza. Yes. That is some good pizza. With some good priced whiskey. Yeah. I got pre-fire Heaven Hill for $40 for an ounce. Booker's I mean, 30th for worth. 30 an ounce. Absolutely worth. crazy. So, Plus, it's named after a great movie. Yeah, Goodfellas. Mm -hmm. Anyway, already won. You're killing it. 
If you're in a state where you Buy can it. find these products. Do it now. Go find it. Stop what you're doing. Go to a liquor store. Look pause for the, this. Yeah, pause the video. Buy it. Look at it. Look for it. Bring it home. Drink it. Drink it with the, with the rest of this video. Well, there's not much left of the, this video, but do it. Yeah. Especially at that price. <laughs> Cheapest Ambirano you're going to find. Hey, uh, editor, we're going to need a Shia LaBeouf do it thing like here. Can you do that? I'll do my best. Love you. It's just going to be a nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just a nope. He gives us more of those than we than anything else we request. I love it, though. It's funny. Whatever you think. <laughs> you think something's going to happen. I don't know. He pulls shit. He's good. <laughs> he does a good job. He's yeah. worth more than what he gets paid. Nothing. I might buy his dinner tonight. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for watching. Again, hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment. Help us grow the channel. Hit the liquor store. Find this. And until we drink again, guys, we want to thank you. I'm Dan. He's Jake. Reminding Jake. you to share a pour with your friends and family. Because much like movies... Memories don't make themselves. God, this is good. I know, right? It's fucking great.